Hey everybody, uh, welcome again to our uh, fly tying video series here at the Worldly Barker Fly Company. I'm Steve Worley, owner of WBFC, and today I'm going to show you how to tie the squat cobbler. So here in central Washington, uh, in uh, late August, September, we get a big stonefly hatch, and uh, this is a, a great pattern that replicates the male uh, portion of the, the stonefly uh, called the summer stone or short wing stonefly. Uh, this is a real abundant stonefly here in central Washington and uh, it does a great job. It, it creates a great silhouette, foam body, um, purple with a uh, red uh, hot spot here. Uh, we fish this pattern a lot in the shady spots uh, you know, around edges uh, of the river. So the color really uh, can vary uh, depending on how you want to tie it. Really more of a uh, great silhouette pattern, uh, you know, that rides low on the water and, pre and presents a really, really good silhouette to the fish. So uh, let's get the tying. All right, so... Let's get started here tying the squat cobbler, which is a short wing stone fly pattern uh, that we fish here on the Yakima in central Washington. So the first thing that you're going to do is lay down a nice thread base, uh, 3x long dry fly hook, so light wire, but extra long shank here, uh, you know, for bigger flies like stone flies, grasshoppers, chubby Chernobyls. Those, those types of fly patterns. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a silly leg and I'm gonna double it up here and I'm gonna splay it right off the, uh, the band of the hook. take and tie it in this is a gel spun 50 denier super strong so it really uh, really works well for big flies like this so make sure that they're splayed and forked you know so it gives that effect Again, uh, like I said in the, in the beginning, this is a silhouette fly. So we really want to present that silhouette of a stone fly on the water. Um, and there, there's a lot of these males around uh, on our river. So the fish uh, see a lot of them. So we want to try and replicate that as, as good as we can. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay in our little dubbing ball here of red hairline dubbing. This is a rabbit dubbing and it's, you can see it, you know, it goes on the, on the thread, even this gel spun, it goes on really super simple. So we just take and form that and get a good dubbing ball on there, you know, so it really sticks out and it's pronounced. Like I said, we fish this a lot in, in shady spots on the river along the edges. Um, so that red, you know, in in dark water, you know, really tends to show up nicely. So the next thing that you're going to need, it's it's really helpful. It's not that you need one. I mean, you can do it yourself. Um, is a uh, foam body punch. Um, this is a medium size. You can see what I'm doing here. Punch it out and on both ends so I make it long so we have a, a round end on both both ends here and then you can take a to kind of smooth it out and smooth the if it, do, if it doesn't cut out all the way really nicely you can take a lighter you know and just apply it to the foam real real lightly apply a little heat and that'll that'll cut down kind of all the rough edges there so take your foam body and 
lay it right on the top and you want that extending just slightly over the band you don't want it too far that it uh, impedes your hooking ability on the fish so and this is kind of a you don't want to pull too hard with this GSP because it will cut through this foam but you can you can pull tight to get that set and then just wind it all down get it all set where you want it just kind of pull that back out of the way the next thing I'm going to use here is some ultra chenille and micro this is purple it's real thin you know it's it makes great bodies it just kind of speeds up your your fly tying process you can if you like dubbing you can use dubbing too it's just uh, you know it just takes a little bit longer to uh, to build your bodies up so just lay that in and work your thread all the way back to the, the bar very back of that foam base there and then we're going to take a brown saddle hackle that's sized this is a uh, size 8 uh, dry fly hook so this is going to this is going to help the fly float a little bit, give us a little bit of movement up on top of the water. And this is a this is a summer insect, so it's it's one that you can move and skate around. Very very active uh, uh, aquatic insect, so um, we want to kind of replicate those, those types of movements on the water with this pattern. So right now your fly should look like this okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna get that chenille underneath that foam and we're gonna start wrapping it forward down the shank and you want to leave about a quarter of the shank room there tie that down and then just kind of push just kind of get keep that out of the way because you're gonna you're gonna fill in some spots with the rest of the chenille and that way you won't have to retie it in if it gets in your way you can always cut it out and then retie it in but i just leave it there so the next we're going to take this brown hackle and we're going to palmer it down the body get it nice and even and tie that off and then snip off the excess there and you can use that for your for your next one might make a a few more thread wraps sometimes those little fibers are sticking in there okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull our foam body down over the top and again this GSP kind of light the gel spun it really grabs nicely and it will It'll bind that right to the to the shank easily. And I'm just gonna make a half hitch there and lock that down in place. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do with the squat cobbler is we're gonna add an underwing to it. Because this fly rides low in the water and we're using a, a poly wing uh, in, in white or polar bear, um, it's pretty bright. I like to use this, it's called wing and flash, it's angel hair basically. Uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a flashy material and we'll use this in black and we'll, we'll take a shank of it and we'll We'll cut the ends so they're even and 
We'll tie these in backwards. And what this what this really does is it help really helps secure the wing, and uh, it won't pull out because it's going to be it's going to be tied in double. So bind that down where you left off with your body, and and then pull that pull that wing back over the over the foam and then make some thread wraps in front of it and that should that should bring that wing down and it doesn't matter if it's long you can can trim it up later it's all right if it's you can do we'll do the final touches right at the very end of the fly here okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use widow's web Again, just this polypropylene yarn. It's a floating yarn. You know, adds flotation. It's what uh, the wing on all your chubbies and, and parachute style flies is made from. Widow's Web is just the trade name. So uh, just take that and we're going to tie that in the same exact way. So even those ends and then make a few thread wraps, pull tight. That'll really pull that that poly yarn down in there, trim that excess down, pull over the top, and bind that wing down. So what that does is instead of that wing laying way, way up in low water, you know, where it's really visible to fish, it brings that wing down, where it's visible to uh, the fishermen and not so much the fish. And then that, uh, that underwing of black will help hide it so your poly yarn is going to be is going to be a little bit longer so we want that a little bit shorter than our underwing okay it's still still sticking up there a little bit but the beauty of the squat cobbler is about to uh, be un unfolded here so in our next couple of steps so make sure that that is bound down really well and you have this piece of foam still sticking off the end here. So what we want to do is work our thread over the top of our foam right up to our eye. It should be right back behind the eye of the fly. Alright so the next step on our fly here is we're going to add our front and back legs so we're going to take a silly leg just like we did uh, with our tails here we're going to double it up we're going to lay that right on the top and then we're just going to kind of pinch it between our fingers and lay a couple of thread wraps over the top and then the weight of the bobbin will keep that material in place and then you can chop the uh, loop in the front there and then you can take and pull your legs down over the along the side of the body where you want them placed kind of get them in place where you want and then you can take and bind them down nice and tight this gel spun will lock them right into place so they don't go anywhere. And then just take and move your thread all the way forward there, right behind the back of the eye. You still have your your foam in place off the, off the front. Now we're gonna take this piece of chenille that's been hanging here, and we're gonna fill this little slot right in here in the thorax of the fly we're going to fill that in with this chenille and make a few wraps fill that body in that fills in the front of the fly covers everything up those legs out of there so you don't tie them down and once that's bound down man you can 
cut off your chenille and you're done with that. Okay, so now you're wondering what is going on with this piece of foam here. So the thing that I like, you know, about poly yarn is it's, like I said, it's a floating yarn, so it really helps in flotation. This fly floats like a cork with the, uh, the hackle and the foam, uh, you know, impregnated into it. Um, and along with the poly wing, but when that poly wing is, is sticking way up, and we're fishing this pattern in lower, lower water flows in September, um, we like to have that fly down and not have that wing sticking way up. So bring your thread back right to the base of the wing there. And then we're going to take and we're going to fold this foam piece over back over the top creating kind of a bullet head style and then take and again run your GSP through the foam but don't pull too tightly because it will cut through it make sure you're not binding your legs down make a few thread wraps in there make sure it's nice and tight and then you can Half hitch this, and this black blends right in with that purple. So two colors really close together on the on the spectrum. So it hides nicely in there. And once you've half hitched it, you can cut your thread off. And now all you need to do is just some fine adjustments, cutting your legs your liking I don't like them super long but I like them I like these thin legs because they create a lot of movement on the water you can watch the fly and watch the legs as it's floating in the current moving back and forth so that uh, you know creates a real lifelike fly pattern in the squat cobbler and also aids in that making that profile so now if your wings are a little bit too long, you can cut those as well. Just be careful not to cut your tails. And your, uh, your black underwing should be a little bit longer than that white. That white's just really a, a visual for the fishermen and to kind of aid in the flotation. So get that underneath and then that foam piece too works in conjunction to push everything down and again adds in in uh, flotation again so that is the squat cobbler great fly for uh, imitating the short wing stones on the Yakima in September so I hope you uh, can give it a try and thanks for viewing